The Rumangabo military base, just north of Goma. And these are among the latest recruits to the M23 rebel movement. Their journey begins with baby steps. Simple drill, stripping an assault rifle. The rebels have denied allegations that they force people and children to fight. And the recruits we spoke to seem eager to be here. We find there is no other, other solution. We have to fight and to restore a good governance. When and when uh, dignity in Congo will be the rule, a Congolese find himself in his country as a citizen. The M23 says it will continue recruiting. Any other adult Congolese is welcome. We will open our doors to them, but this does not mean we are eager for confrontation with government forces. But if they provoke us, we shall fight back. The M23 won't reveal its numbers, but some estimates suggest they have 5,000 in their ranks. The rebellion broke out early in 2012 as a mutiny among Congolese troops. The fighting spiraled before regional powers brokered talks between the M23 leadership and the government of DRC president, Laurent Kabila. In the latest clashes, seven people are reported killed. Rebel commanders have now moved forward, and their forces have taken a position in the hills around Goma. A move by the M23 rebels to consolidate position could justify their claim to protect themselves if attacked. But should serious fighting resume in this volatile region, this may mean more displacement of civilians. The UN is hoping to protect civilians, but it's also planning to fight now. The first troops from a 3,000 strong UN intervention force have moved into Goma. Their mandate is to engage all armed groups in the region, including the M23. The rebels say they will respond. If UN soldiers shoot at me, my escort will shoot back in the first place. Should the UN come here and shoot at civilians, where we are in Nushuru, we will fight the UN for attacking our population. So we have no problem as long as they keep their distance. But if they come to destabilize us, we shall fight them. For now, this UN roadblock marks the boundary between rebel territory and government forces. The fighting this weekend happened very close by. Hilara Yesiga, CCTV, Kampala.